Welcome back to the final night of the main event. It's all over and we have our November 9. The final table is going to take a four month break before coming back to decide a world champion. But before we do, we want to bring you up to date on all of the day's action. This is the main event on Poker Listings, brought to you by Party Poker. The final table of this year's main event is set, and just nine players remain in contention for the $8.7 million first place prize. This thing started with over 6,800 players almost two weeks ago, but that number has been hacked down to what you see in front of you. Martin Stasko leads a tough final table, all of whom will have almost four months to sweat before returning to Las Vegas in November to decide a champion. 22 began the day, and as you can see, plenty of talent fell just short of the final table. Tournament grinder Brian Devonshire narrowly missed the November 9. Same for national WSOP circuit champion Sam Barnhart and former Win Classic champion Chris Moore. One final table with $8.7 million waiting for first place. Nine players who are all coming back here to Las Vegas in November to play down to a winner. Let's get to know our November 9. One of them is going to be the 2011 World Champion of Poker. Martin Stasko is our November 9 chip leader. He's got 40,175,000, roughly 25% more than the second biggest stack. All the way from the Czech Republic, Stasko is a relative newcomer to the live tournament circuit. He's 35 years old and he's cashed five times at the 2011 World Series of Poker. Owen O'Day is headed to the final table second in chips with 33,925,000. Owen's father, Donica, is a legend in Irish poker thanks to two main event final table appearances and a WSOP bracelet. Yeah, you just, you just take it one hand at a time. Uh, there's a lot of good players left uh, that can change pretty quickly. Matt Gianetti was the short stack for much of the ten-handed final table, but he'll be going into the November 9 third in chips with 24,750,000. Gianetti is a full-time poker pro, originally from Austin, Texas. He's cashed eight times at the WSOP, earning more than half a million dollars in the process. The man with the famous name, Phil Collins, will start this final table fourth in chips with 23,875,000. Better known as his online alter ego, USC Fildo, Collins has racked up more than $3.3 million in online tournament earnings. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the most high pressure tournament that you can be in. Uh, I've been in some very high pressure spots before. I've played in some 25k high rollers at ridiculously hard tables and I've played with some of the best players in the world before. Making the November 9 marks the end of an unbelievable summer for Ben Lamb. He's got 20,875,000 in chips, good for fifth place going into this final table. Lamb is currently leading the 2011 Player of the Year race thanks to 1.3 million in earnings already this summer. To have this good a summer and, and be leading the Player of the Year race, I mean, it, it really feels amazing. I, I feel very blessed. I obviously realize that a lot of it has been the running good. It's been fun, and I've really enjoyed it. And you know, I, I hope everyone gets a, a summer like this. You know, it's, it's been a life-changing experience. One of the wild cards at this final table has to be Bob Bunara, 49 years old, originally from Lebanon. Bunara now lives in the Central American country of Belize. With 19,700,000 in chips, Bunara is in sixth place going into the finale. Pius Heinz is the first German to ever make the November 9. Age 22, Heinz is headed into the final table, 7th in chips, with 16,425,000. An experienced online tournament player, Heinz is looking to become the first German world champion. Anton Makievski is the youngest player at this final table, just 21 years old. Makievski is repping Ukraine, a mark in his favor since Ukrainians have won an unprecedented four gold bracelets already this summer. Makievsky enters the final table 8th in chips with 13,825,000. 22 years old and hailing from Canterbury, Sam Holden represents the UK's last hope for a 2011 World Championship title. Holden's been playing poker professionally since graduating from Kent University with a degree in Forensic Science. Holden will take 12,375,000 in chips to this final table, putting him at the bottom of the leaderboard. That's it for us at the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. Four months separate us from a world champion. But in the meantime, you can follow the progress of the November 9 on PokerListings.com.